Now in the last part of this question, we were given this discrete random variable x had this probability distribution and in the previous part we worked out that k equaled 0.1. Let's just put that down here where k equaled 0.1. And we're told now that two independent observations x1 and x2 are made of the random variable x and we've got to show in part e then that the probability that the sum of those two observations when it equals 4 the probability turns out to be 0.1 so how are we going to do this well first of all then let's just put down our intro the probability that we have x1 plus x2 equals 4 well how are we going to get a total of 4? Well it can be if we were to for instance have a 1 and then a 3. I'll just write this as an ordered pair. We could have say the probability of getting a 3 first and then a 1. Or you could get the probability of two twos, 2 followed by a 2. All of these will come to a total of 4. So when it comes to working out the probability of getting a 1 followed by a 3, a 1 would be k, so that would be 0 0.1, and then getting a 3 would be 3k, so that would be 0 0.3. And then when it comes to getting a 3 and a 1, well it's just going to be the reverse of this. It will be a 3 first of all with a probability of 0 0.3, and then a 1 next with a probability of 0 0.1. And when it comes to getting 2 and then another 2, it's going to be 2k times another 2k. So 2k is 0.2, so you've got 0.2 squared in other words, or 0.2 times 0.2. And if you work this out, what you do get is what we had to show, 0.1. Alright? Now, in part F, we've got to complete the probability distribution table for the sum of these two independent observations. So, I've got two spaces to fill. And I'm going to go for the one on 8, purely because I haven't got so many options. To get 8, then I know that what I have here is going to have to be the probability of getting a 4 and a 4. Okay, a 4 and a 4. In other words, it's going to be equal to 0 0.4, 4k, k being 0 0.1, 0 0.4 times another 0 0.4, 0 0.4 squared. In other words, 0 0.16. So we just put that in as 0.16. Now that I've got this value of 0.16, all I need to do is total what we've got here and take it away from 1 and I'll end up with this probability in here. Well if you total these values up, you'll end up with 0.8. So this value has to be 0.2 to make it up to the 1. Now, in part G, we've got to find the probability of the sum of these two independent observations being greater than 1.5, but less than or equal to 3.5. And so, in answer to that question, the probability of the sum of those two variables, x1 and x2, being greater than 1.5, but less than or equal to 3.5, well, it's very easy because all you've got to do then is just look at the value 2, which is going to be 0 0.01, plus the value that you get for 3. So it's going to be plus 0 0.04. And what do you get with that? Well, you get a total of 0 0.05. There you go. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea now over those parts to the question.